Elon Musk is working on a groundbreaking new spaceship called Starship. It will be able to transport up to 100 passengers to Mars and beyond, and it will be completely reusable. SpaceX has been working towards its ultimate aim of making it possible for humans to live on other planets out of concerns about the extinction of our species at the hands of natural disasters such as catastrophic asteroid strike. Elon Musk, when giving a presentation at a conference in Mexico around five years ago, stated that history is going to be split into different courses. One of the paths is that humans will remain on the planet forever, but there will be inevitable mass extinction. A starship is a rocket that could ferry more than 100 people at the same time. A starship will be powerful enough to launch itself off both a lunar and Martian bodies, but it needs to be super heavy to get off the much more massive Martian body. He has been very vocal about his aspirations to create habitable cities on Mars. In order to make this goal a reality, he required a space vehicle that could undertake the task of sending people to the Red Planet. This vehicle took the form of a starship. The system resembles something out of a science fiction comic book and strives for excellence through any means possible. It is powered by Raptor engines that use methane as fuel, and it has a fancy nose cone and landing fins. Additionally, it has the capacity to carry at least 100,000 kilograms of payload to low Earth orbit. It is possible for combustion to occur in stages thanks to the six engines, and their design helps to reduce the amount of fuel that is wasted. The propellant is kept in tanks in the center of the vehicle, which is known for being the location of tough choices. Musk decided to use methalox, which is essentially a mixture of methane and oxygen, as a fuel for the rocket engine since it is capable of producing a great deal of thrust. Another reason for the decision is that a plan for Mars needed a solution that would work on Mars. Musk came up with the idea that methane could be made from Martian subsurface, water, and carbon dioxide in the air using saboteur reaction. This makes the whole goal cheaper because using Martian resources could help reach a small level of self-sufficiency. The top part can hold cargo and people, but the bottom part, the booster, is where things get interesting. Like the top part, the 70-meter-tall booster 2 will be filled with 3,400 tons of chilled methalox and powered by Raptor engines. The number of engines keep changing, but it's safe to say that engineers would provide more than 18 million pounds of meganewtons of thrust, which would allow the system to carry more payloads to LEO. This will make super heavy lift rockets. First, Musk and SpaceX wanted to fire up the booster's engines to guide it to a landing on six steel legs, as they did with Falcon 9. However, it didn't take long for them to change their minds. Musk tweeted that he now plans to catch the booster in the air with an arm on the launch tower. This may seem like a crazy idea to the average person, but Rocket Lab is also planning to land Rocket on six legs. The interesting setup also makes it possible to refuel in orbit since the upper stage could be put into a parking orbit after separation and then refueled there. At a keynote speech in 2017, Musk said that even if he gets a starship to orbit without any refueling, he will get around 150 tons to low Earth orbit, which is pretty amazing for such a setup. People of SpaceX, he said, Without any overall refueling, we expect to have a payload capability of 150 tons to Earth orbit. To refuel the spacecraft, it will simply go ahead and duck with another starship that would function as a propellant depot and would be there circling Mother Earth already. Musk underlined that you were able to use control thrusters to speed in the direction that you want to empty to transfer fuel, which would then be a walk of cake for the made starship for lengthy and difficult travels that can take up to nine months to get to and from Mars. NASA is planning to build approximately 40 cabins in the payload section towards the front of the upper stage. Each cabin will have the capacity to house approximately five or six people, which will allow the Starship to transport people to exotic planets like Jupiter as part of a long-term project. NASA's Artemis program, which aims to establish a long-term human presence on the Moon, could also make use of the Starship. NASA, like the rest of us, cannot help but be intrigued by the ambition. And the organization has awarded SpaceX a contract worth $135 million in the United States to upgrade the functionality of the Starship to that of a crewed lunar lander. This represents a significant accomplishment for Elon Musk and his team. 
However, it comes with a design change that eliminates the flaps which are essential for a trip down to the surface of the Earth. Instead, after its initial launch from Earth, the Starship Human Landing system would remain in space to be used for multiple trips between lunar orbit and the surface of the Moon. These trips would take place over the course of many years. It is possible that such a system could be used to make high-speed journeys between various locations on Earth. This would require SpaceX to achieve a high level of precision and put aviation companies in a difficult position when it comes to the travel times on offer. However, there is no action that is completely free of potential negative consequences. Musk's company has the Starship enter the atmosphere at a 60-degree angle in a belly-flat manner, which is too reliant on it, which has fueled suspicion. However, he has tacked it by assuring that he is trying to create a drag rather than a lift as the Starship approaches the, the landing, and this has helped to elevate some of the suspicions. It should then be able to flip the vehicle into a vertical position after executing an engine burn and using the Raptors, which shows that Musk has done his homework and is not intimidated by the complexity of the task or the number of failures with Starship landings, and is completely focused at launching one of these vehicles as soon as possible. Elon Musk recently stated that SpaceX plans to launch Starship to orbit sometime this year, and that he envisions the Starship Super Heavy Duo being fully operational by 2023. Whether or not he is able to fulfill his dream by then, Elon Musk has reiterated the fact that there is no limit to human greatness and creativity if you go all in with what you aspire to achieve. With that said, do you think that SpaceX will really be fully operational by 2023? Why and why not? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we upload new content. That's it for today, and I'll see you on the next video.